Now, it's just all promoting. That's your born superstar. I'm the Don of this sh I'm the Mike Noir. I'm LeBron of this sh <laughs> Reports have just hit the internet that Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor part two could be a thing. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, Fight Hype was the first to report it that I've seen, and it says sources Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. I'm not you thinking. Who the fuck here? Are currently in talks for a potential rematch. If it happens, expect Mayweather to pocket another nine figure payday. Mayweather McGregor, too. So, is this true? I don't know. This is not my source. But wait, there's more. Conor McGregor posted this on his verified. I don't know what you're thinking. Who the? He says, I accept. I accept. Now, this is on his verified Instagram account. What picture did he show when he said these two words? I accept. Man, it's a shot of Conor McGregor when he fought Mayweather landing a body shot on Floyd May Easy work. I ain't got to worry about it. I'm rich, motherfucker. Like I said before, Conor McGregor, he, he the Notre Dame mascot. Look, he said, I accept. You see it on the screen. So, you know, maybe maybe this is something that happens. So it's, it's certainly plausible. And you got to understand the business of boxing. Floyd Mayweather is 40-something years old. He's already had an illustrious career. And at the heart of it, he represents a brand. He represents a business, as does Conor McGregor since then. You notice Conor McGregor, he like doubled, tripled, or whatever his worth. He's for, I know he's from Ireland, but the money stayed doubling, right? Get it? Money stayed doubling. Whatever. Anyway, Conor McGregor, he came out with proper 12 after the Mayweather fight and things like that. So, you know, this is a big mega fight. This is the first fight was the second highest grossing fight in boxing history. And that was just behind another Floyd Mayweather fight with Manny Pacquiao. So at this point, why wouldn't they fight? You know, the networks, I don't know exactly who, but, you know, let's say Showtime. They had the first fight. They made a lot of money. The UFC, you know, work with Conor, made a lot of money. And you got to look at it. Like, at this point, Conor McGregor, look at the point he's at in his career in the UFC. It's like, he can't just fight, you know, the Cowboy Cerrone's again. You know, people are looking for these big events. And when you reach a certain pinnacle and you reach Mount Everest, it becomes harder and harder to, to top your last thing. So it's like Floyd Mayweather wants to keep making money. He, he's doing some fights in Japan, but those aren't going to get the same type of paydays as a, a outspoken Irish, Caucasian, Conor McGregor, you know, sequel, thing like that. So I think this is definitely logical. It's a logical fight. And I'm not even going to spend too much time on the negativity, but there's a lot of fake boxing fans. And when they hear this video, when they see the news, if this comes into fruition, if this fight actually materializes, then they're going to say, oh, why are they fighting again? This, that. I'm so bored with this. Please no. But guarantee you this, when and if they do fight, when they do that press tour, these same people, these same MFers, that's why I keep my circle small because there's a lot of snakes and fakes and a lot of fake energy in the world of boxing where people, they'll gripe and complain. Like, I don't gripe about stuff. Like, I'm not saying I've never complained, but I like to resolve issues rather than, I, I like resolution more than I like problems. You see what I'm saying? You dig, you understand me? So that's just who I am. It's only but for so long that I'm gonna complain about something before I put a plan in motion or at least try to get out of that situation. But I'm maybe the last of a dying breed. There's not everyone that's that's moves like that. There's people 
who sit and hate my channel and they watch every day. I can't do that. There's people who complain, watch this video and say, oh, nobody cares about Mayweather McGregor. But then when I put Mayweather McGregor, May Mayweather McGregor in the title, you clicked on it. So that's an oxymoron. Nobody cares about... So how do people leave a comment talking about nobody cares, but you cared enough to click on it? Doesn't make sense. So if you care enough to express your opinion on something, to some degree you care. Because the stuff I don't care about, I pay it no mind. I don't go. I don't comment. I don't peruse the comment section. I don't loiter. I just don't be there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like certain things, like if, you, if you're not a fan of golf, you don't go to golf courses. You don't watch golf videos and leave a million comments. So the bottom line, Mayweather is smart. He's the, the businessman and boxer that put it all together and changed the whole scope of how fighters get paid and everything. And I think Floyd's worked very hard to get to where he, he is. He's continued to work. And let's go. You know, Floyd's looking for the entertainment value, novelty fights. Some would call it a circus fight. It don't matter. Just don't call it broke because this fight will generate money. You know, if Logan Paul and Floyd did over a million, Conor McGregor and Floyd, they're right. You know, they're right. That's going to be at least Conor's still a fighter and he's talks a good game. The other thing one has to rem remind themselves of, you got to look at the setup. Conor since losing to Dustin Poirier and injuring his leg and being out. And there's a hilarious Snoop Dogg and Kevin Hart interview where he said, I like Connor. He said, Connor broke his leg and he was still talking some ish. And he was like, oh, you'll do nothing. I'll kill you. <laughs> you guys got to watch that video. If you know, you know, let me know in the comment section. But anyway, since that point, connor has been on a bit of a layoff and he's bulked up. He looks extremely big. So just the fact that Connor is diesel and looking in shape and looking like, you know, he's called himself the Irish gorilla and all this stuff, that alone, because people in the world of boxing, more, more so the casuals than the actual boxing fans, they're going to see it. They're going to see he looks jacked and see the tattoos and the furs and the trash talking, hear all that type of stuff. And they're going to be like, oh, he got a chance. Just like they did with Logan Paul, just like they did with Conor McGregor. I was at the first fight, and the first fight was crazy. There was a sea of people in the MGM with Irish flags. So even though I knew how the fight would play out, I seen really no way that Conor was going to outbox him. Conor has the gift of gab. He has the ability to make people believe and make people believe that, you know, he's the one. And then now him being bigger people are going to gravitate towards that you know because they look at the ufc there's different ways to lose submissions and arm bars and rear naked chokes you know there's different ways in boxing they're going to be like oh okay especially casuals more so the casuals so i ain't mad at it and it's, it's probably the quickest way to make the type of money that you would make for this particular fight is this because like i said you can make good money fighting or great money you know for the average person great money to fight in japan but if he wants to set records and like you know surpass other big fights in boxing this is the kind of the way to do it and he showed you that before let me know how i did in this video connor says i agree we'll see what this leads to but it, it, you know to me it's not off the table it, it makes sense We'll see if it actually plays out. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel because I'm the best. And for that, that's a reason enough for you guys to subscribe. I'll keep you guys posted if you subscribe to the channel. And I'm up. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud 
us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation Fives adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation Fives, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.